One of my favorite things to shoot are maternity sessions. Nothing beats the looks of pure joy when the parents to be get to celebrate their special moments on camera. I had the absolute pleasure of working with these two future parents just this morning who chose me to shoot their gender reveal photos. And the photos turned out so perfectly that I cannot wait to share a sneak peek. Congratulations to the happy couple and congratulations on their sweet baby girl that will be coming in just a few months. Asterisk shares sneak peek and edited photos of Bria and Charlie surrounded by bright pink smoke, Bria and Charlie holding pink baby-sized converses, and Charlie placing pink handprints on Bria's stomach asterisk. Beautiful work, if only my son was able to include his beautiful baby boy in these, it breaks my heart that my grandson had to be left out of such a major moment. But I am oh so excited to welcome my sweet, sweet granddaughter into the world. I cannot wait to meet her. So I hear congratulations are in order. I have to ask, did you start sleeping with the gal before she was appointed on our case or after? Dude, what are you talking about? Asterisk sends screenshots from Facebook of the gender reveal photos, asterisk. Why are you sending me pictures of this? That's not me. Yes, it is, really. I bought you that shirt. So you're deciding this is me because of a shirt. You're crazier than I thought you were. I mean, I'm basing it off of the fact that I can clearly see it's you. I can see the same tattoos you have on your hands and the fact that your own mother commented on the pictures. I'm looking at the post right now, and I don't see any comments from my mom. I get you're bitter that the gal sides with me, but this whole pregnancy story you're trying to spin is really pathetic. I literally have the screenshots. Cool, more AI photo magic. You're crazy. Seek help Molly. Asterisk goes to look back at the post and sees that Gretchen's comments are already deleted asterisk. You're sick in the head. For real, I'm worried about you. Take those photos down now. I never once gave permission to have my photos used for advertising or to be posted by you on social media. Hi, I am so sorry. Your girlfriend was the one who signed consent for the photos to be used for advertising purposes. It was in the contract she signed. Okay, and I never gave permission, and I want them down now or I promise you that I will be suing you for everything you are worth. I'm sorry, but I'm confused as to what the problem is. Are you unhappy with how the photos turned out? I can schedule a reshoot if you don't like them, free of charge of course. No, I don't want to reshoot or anything like that. I want them taken down. Are you stupid? Sir, I will need permission from your girlfriend as this was her photo shoot. I understand you are upset, but I won't allow you to speak to me this way. Asterisk receives text from her cousin stating that Molly had gotten all the screenshots she needed to show the judge Asterisk. You know what, never mind. I will just go ahead and take them down now. Bria can contact me if she would like for them to be reposted. Bria, I was hoping to schedule a moment to discuss your personal relationship with the defendant in the custody trial that you are involved in. Thank you for the time in advance. My personal and private life have no involvement in my professional career. I can assure you that despite any perceived conflict of interest, my opinions are completely fair and unbiased. That's wonderful to hear. However, I'm concerned that the line becomes extremely blurred when a client is also the father of your unborn child. I wonder if the judge is aware of this. Once again, my personal life is of no concern to anyone I know in a professional setting. Asterisk attaches photos from the gender reveal photo sheet to the next email asterisk in my professional opinion. It is impossible for someone in your position to be completely unbiased when a client is clearly very important to your personal life. 
I have sent an email to the judge as well to make all parties aware of the current situation and can best decide how to move forward. Congratulations on your pregnancy though, babies are always such a blessing. Congratulations, Bria is no longer the gal on our case. This stunt could cost her her entire career. She isn't even my girlfriend. Good, someone who thinks they should be a deciding factor in a custody battle when actively screwing the other parent doesn't deserve to be a gal. Dude, it's not even that serious. Your jealousy over me knocking someone else up could cost her the ability to financially support the baby. That's our baby's sibling. Don't you care about that? Honestly, no I don't. I care about our son and his safety and happiness. Both of the things you do not seem to even think about. Oh, whatever. You think I'm such a fuking piece of sheet. You'll see how much of a piece of sheet I can be. Raise baby on your own. Don't ask me for another damn dollar. You've never given a dollar. So what would be the difference? And I never fucking will. He will find me when he's 18. And he'll learn all about what a piece of sheet his mother is. You're the one who will keep baby from having a father. Tell baby when he asks about his real daddy that you didn't think he deserved. At the next court hearing, Charlie was not in attendance. His mother, however, attempted to request the judge grant her visitation in his place. The judge denied her request. Visitation was left to the discretion of the mother, Molly. Since the last court date, Charlie has not reached out once to request a visit. Gretchen has remained blocked on all social media and phone. Rhea is listed on her Facebook as single. She gave birth, and as far as anyone can see has not posted one photo of Charlie with the baby. There are no interactions online between them or Gretchen. Molly and Ethan are currently engaged, and Ethan has plans to file for permission to adopt baby once they are married. Baby is so very happy and loved by Molly, Ethan, and Ethan's family. Molly and Ethan are expecting their newest bundle of joy September 2024. Thank you, Molly, for sharing your story with us.